Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, scalene uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, its uh, side length uh, AB is uh, 10 uh, units, whereas uh, its side length uh, BC is uh, 12 units. And moreover, uh, this uh, angle uh, ABC is uh, X, whereas this angle uh, BAC is uh, 2 times X. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our action plan. Since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, given uh, triangle. And now let's recall the area of a triangle uh, formula. Area equals to half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case, the base of this uh, triangle is uh, 10 and the height of this uh, triangle is unknown. If somehow we could find the height of this uh, triangle, we could easily find the area of this uh, triangle. And here's our another option. We could use the Heron's formula to calculate the area of this uh, given uh, triangle. And we could see our uh, A value is uh, 12, our C value is uh, 10 and uh, B value is uh, unknown. If somehow we could find the value of B, we could easily calculate the area of this uh, given uh, triangle by using the Heron's formula. And in this video, I will be using this very first uh, formula, area equals to a half times uh, base time height, instead of using the Heron's formula. If you wish to use the Heron's formula, you are more than welcome. And here's our very first step. We can see that this angle is X uh, and this angle is uh, twice that angle to X. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, this point uh, C with this uh, point uh, T such that uh, this uh, angle is uh, 2x uh, as well. And now we can see that this uh, triangle uh, ACT is an isosceles uh, triangle. So therefore this side length uh, AC is going to be equal to this side length uh, C T. And now let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of uh, two opposite uh, interior angles, as you see in this uh, diagram. And here we can see that C is our exterior angle, and that is going to be equal to the sum of these uh, two opposite interior angles uh, A and B, such that uh, C equals to A plus B. So therefore, in our case, uh, this angle is our exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of uh, these two opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be X such that uh, X plus X is going to give us uh, 2X. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, triangle uh, CBT is an isosceles uh, triangle since this angle is congruent to this uh, angle. So therefore we conclude that this uh, side length uh, CT equal to this side length uh, BT. Now let me go ahead and label uh, this side length uh, AC as uh, lowercase a. Then this side uh, CT is going to be lowercase a and this side uh, BT is going to be lowercase a as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, side length AB is uh, 10. And this uh, side length uh, BT is uh, lowercase a. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, AT is going to be 10 minus uh, A. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this uh, perpendicular uh, CP. And let me go ahead and label uh, this perpendicular as our height uh, H uh, of this uh, triangle. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, triangle uh, ACT is an isosceles uh, triangle and this is our uh, perpendicular CP. So therefore this segment uh, AP is going to be equal to this segment uh, PT. That means these two segments are equal. So therefore uh, this uh, AP length is going to be half of this uh, total length and likewise this uh, PT length is going to be half of this one uh, as well. So therefore our uh, AP length uh, is 10 minus A divided by 2. And now let me go ahead and calculate uh, this uh, segment uh, PB and that's going to be equal to the sum of this uh, segment uh, 
plus uh, a as you can see over here in this uh, equation this is our uh, pt segment and this is our uh, bt segment and if we add uh, both of these ones uh, it turns out to be 10 uh, plus a divided by 2 so therefore our uh, pb length turns out to be 10 plus a divided by 2 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, apc whose uh, side lengths are a h and this uh, 10 minus a divided by 2 and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square where uh, this uh, is uh, our longest uh, leg so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula a in our uh, case is uh, h square plus uh, b in our case is uh, 10 minus uh, a divided by 2 whole uh, square equal to our long slag is a so this is going to be a square now let's go ahead and move this uh, term to the right hand side let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number one and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, another right triangle uh, pbc and we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle uh, as well and here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square where our longest leg for this uh, triangle is uh, 12 the other side is uh, h and our pb length uh, is 10 plus a divided by 2 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got uh, this one uh, h square plus uh, this one uh, is uh, 10 plus uh, a divided by 2 whole square equal to our longest leg is 12 so this become 12 square and in this uh, next step 12 square is 144 and then i have isolated this uh, h square by moving uh, this uh, on the other side let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number two and here we are ended up with these uh, two equations equation one and two and now let's go ahead and compare these uh, two equations we can see the left hand sides uh, are identical so therefore we can equate uh, the right hand sides uh, as well so therefore i can write uh, a square minus uh, 10 minus a divided by 2 whole uh, square is going to be equal to 144 minus 10 plus a divided by 2 whole square and now in this uh, next step i have moved this uh, 2 at the denominator square as uh, one fourth outside and likewise uh, over here uh, one fourth as well and now let me go ahead and multiply by 4 across the board to remove these uh, fractions across the board and here we can see this is going to become 4 a square 1 fourth and 4 is gone so therefore we ended up with the minus 10 minus a whole square equal to this 4 times 144 is going to give us 576 minus 1 fourth and 4 is gone so we ended up with the 10 plus a whole square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it uh, on this uh, binomial on the left uh, hand side and this part uh, is going to become uh, 100 minus uh, 20a plus uh, a square as you can see in this uh, next step i have uh, replaced this one by this equals to 576 uh, minus and now let's recall another uh, identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus b square we are going to apply it uh, on this binomial on the right hand side and here i have expanded this one uh, over here and now in this uh, next step i am going to distribute this uh, negative sign uh, across the board uh, on both sides so therefore we are going to have 4a square minus 100 plus 20a minus a square equal to 576 minus 100 minus 20a minus a square 
and here we can see this negative a square and negative a square is gone negative 100 and negative 100 are gone as well and now let's go ahead and move all these uh, terms to the left hand side as you can see in this uh, next step i have uh, moved everything on the left hand side and simplified so we are ended up with the uh, 4a square plus 40a minus 576 equal to 0 and now we can see that this equation is divisible by 4 across the board so therefore i am going to divide each and every term by 4 so therefore we are ended up with the a square plus 10a minus 144 equal to 0 and here we can see that this is our quadratic equation and we are going to solve for a by grouping and factoring and you may use uh, the quadratic formula as well to solve this given quadratic equation and now let's focus on this uh, constant 144 don't worry about this uh, negative sign let me go ahead and copy it down over here and here we can see 144 could be broken down to 12 uh, times uh, 12 and once again 12 could be broken down to 4 uh, times 3 and this 12 could be broken down to 2 times uh, 6 and now we can see 3 times 6 is going to give us uh, 18 times 4 times 2 is going to give us uh, 8. So therefore 144 equals to 18 times 8. And now we can see the difference between these two numbers is uh, 10. And here we can see we have uh, 10 over here as well in the middle. So therefore I'm going to tweak this uh, middle term uh, as uh, 18a minus uh, 8a as you can see in this uh, next step and here we can see a is in common between first two terms and negative 8 is common between last two terms so therefore i can write uh, a times uh, a plus uh, 18 minus 8 times uh, a plus 18 equal to 0 so therefore this could be written as uh, a minus uh, 8 uh, times a plus 18 equal to 0 let's go ahead and separate we got a minus 8 equal to 0 and the other one is a plus 18 equal to 0 so therefore a turns out to be positive 8 this first case and a equals to negative 18 for this second scenario and here we got a equals to negative value and we know a represents the length so this is not feasible so therefore we are going to accept uh, a equals to positive 8 value and we are going to reject this uh, negative value and here's our next step let's go ahead and substitute this uh, a equals to 8 value in this uh, equation 2 and here's our equation 2 i have copied it down over here now i'm going to replace this a value by 8 and then we are going to solve for h as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this a by 8 and here in this uh, next step i have uh, simplified uh, everything inside this uh, parentheses and turns out to be 9 so therefore h square turns out to be 63 let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore our h value turns out to be equal to and the square root of 63 could be written as uh, 3 times the uh, square root of 7 so therefore our h value turns out to be 3 times the uh, square root of uh, 7 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle uh, abc and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again area equals to a half times base uh, times height and in our case our base uh, is uh, 10 and our height uh, h is 3 times square root of 7 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so the area is going to be a half uh, times uh, base is uh, 10 and height is uh, 3 times uh, square root of uh, 7 and if we simplify everything it turns out to be 15 times uh, square root of uh, 7 so thus the area of this uh, triangle turns out to be 15 times square root of 7 uh, square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 39.7 square units as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye